A quick jab and a high five. These kids among the first age 5 to 11 in the U.S. to get their COVID-19 vaccine. I'm just happy. I feel excited because now that I'm one step closer to getting um, fully vaccinated. The shots given out Wednesday, hours after the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention gave the green light, recommending Pfizer's vaccine for broad use in that younger age group. Four days after the American Food and Drug Administration gave their okay. I felt very ner nervous, but now it's over, and now we now we're vaccinated. That's a that's a big step into making the world normal again. Well, here at home, Health Canada still going through the review process with a decision on COVID-19 vaccines for kids 5 to 11 expected possibly this month. The U.S. is now among just a handful of countries to start vaccinating younger kids, kicking off a major new phase in the fight against the pandemic. We'll hit the ground running and probably by the beginning of next week we'll be at full speed. Top White House health advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci says millions of doses are now going out to pediatricians offices, children's hospitals and pharmacies. With enough supply for all 28 million newly eligible kids in the U.S. While many families are eager to get their little ones immunized, polls indicate that roughly a third of U.S. parents plan to leave their elementary school age children unvaccinated, as the New York Times reports. I want to speak directly to parents. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky approved Pfizer's smaller pediatric two-dose vaccine for use in this age group after unanimous approval by a key CDC panel. She's encouraging families to reach out to their doctor or other local health figures with any questions. In clinical trials, vaccination was found to be nearly 91% effective in preventing COVID-19 among children ages 5 to 11. In clinical trials, vaccine side effects were mild, self-limiting, and similar to those seen in adults with other vaccines recommended for children. The most common side effect was a sore arm. While children are far less likely to get severely sick from COVID than adults, they're still at risk. Since the beginning of the pandemic, there have been more than 1.9 million cases, more than 8,300 hospitalizations, and 94 deaths due to COVID among children ages 5 to 11 in the U.S. And getting them vaccinated, Dr. Walensky says, will not just protect the kids, it will help prevent them from bringing the virus home to those who may be more vulnerable. Melissa Duggan, City News.